okay now uh, we'll see some of the basic terminologies in cryptography so we'll start with the basics of uh, what exactly is input and what exactly is output to all these process that we have discussed in previous video now plain text uh, so uh, we'll need some data that needs to be encrypted and uh, that needs to be encoded into some secret phrase okay now plain text is simply input uh, that can be read uh, read by the humans okay for example simple data such as hello world hello suraj etc any data that you want to encrypt and you want to prevent from the intruder or attacker uh, to be accessed now second one is the cipher text okay so this is the output from encryption algorithm that that does not make any uh, proper sense for example you can see this string this is a cipher text generated from a, a plain text okay so you can't say what exactly this is this is a, a randomly scrambled string that is generated by the encryption algorithm now obviously you cannot make the uh, plain text or you cannot say what exactly this plain text from this cipher text okay so this is uh, the output of any encryption algorithm this output varies it is not same for any particular string and there are a lot of uh, algorithms that does not create same cipher text for same string again and again okay we'll come to know what exactly this means now next is encryption so uh, we want to create cipher text from plain text okay so that process is basically called as encryption now the flow basically goes like this you have some plain text that you want to uh, encrypt then you have the encryption algorithm that will do some processing on the plain text along with the supplied key now we'll see what exactly cryptographic key is now using all these things encryption algorithm will create some cipher text like this uh, for example like this okay it is not going to be same for all the string this is just an example now the next part is decryption obviously the receiver may want to uh, retrieve the plain text from cipher text okay so he needs to apply the reverse process and that is nothing but the decryption okay now the here input will be cipher text that receiver received from the sender along with the key to the decryption algorithm he will generate the plain text he as in the algorithm okay not the person or the receiver now the uh, interesting part is that this cryptographic key is available to both the sender and the receiver obviously because we want to encrypt and decrypt it as well now <clears throat> next thing is the key i was talking a lot about key cryptographic key what exactly it is it is nothing but a sequence of bits uh, that is used by all these encryption and decryption processes okay now to uh, make sure that no one other than sender and receiver reads the data that is encrypted the cipher text should not be able to be decrypted by any other third party the keys are used okay there are different types of keys uh, we'll come to know in uh, upcoming videos the last term uh, is the cryptanalyst cryptanalyst is nothing but a person that tries to uh, create the key tries to obtain the cryptographic key in order to break the cipher text obviously the key point in encryption and decryption is the cryptographic key not the algorithm itself the uh, potential or the uh, how exactly strong the algorithm is depends on the security of the cryptographic keys so uh, crypt analyst simply tries to obtain the cryptographic key instead of uh, breaking the cipher text and finding what exactly the plain text is once he finds the key will be able to decrypt all the uh, communication that is going through between a uh, sender and the receiver so these were some basic uh, terminologies that will be using throughout the series uh, i hope you like this video so please like share and subscribe for more such videos